Hey everyone, welcome to another How to Webflow. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this card with a number on top. Very simple to do, but um, if you're not familiar with using Webflow, I think this is a good uh, beginner tutorial so you can get used to um, using the styles panel and the CSS grid. This design is also good for things for like a portfolio site where you're showing off the number of steps it takes for your process to build a website or um, just other types of cards. All right, so uh, let's get to it. All right, so I have a container here, nothing too special. It's just pushed from the top using top margin top. All right, now I'm going to add a grid, give it three columns, and we're done with that. All right, so for the first cell, I'm going to drag in a div block and we're going to call this card. Okay. Now for this card, um, just style it a bit with some uh, border radius of say 10, give it a pixel border right there. Some light gray color, give it some padding. We're going to hold shift and give it uh, 20 padding on all sides. And now I want to go ahead and add the circle that goes in the center. All right, so I'm going to add a div block and we're going to put some text inside of it. And this is going to be the number one or, you know, step one or whatever. And I'm going to go back to this div block and call it uh, step circle and give it a width and height that's the same. So maybe let's say 25, 25, nah, too small, 50, 50. And inside, uh, inside of that, I want the number one to be centered vertically and horizontally. So I'm going to use flex box center, center. There we go. And also I want to make sure that the, let's make this bigger 26. That's good right there. All right. So we have that. Um, Oh, I need to find out what color I used for the border. So I'm going to save this as a swatch. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go back to my step circle so I can make a border radius of 50%. So 50%, as long as your width and height are the same, border radius 50% will give you a perfect circle. All right. I'm going to give it a border color. And there we go. We have my step circle. And now we're going to center it. There we go. And margin is going to be negatives. And there we go. Something like that. And notice how the line is going inside the circle. So we can remove the line by creating a background color of white. Awesome. There we go. And now I'm going to put in some text and we're going to call this card title. And let's go ahead and go back to the step circle and give it some margin on the bottom. So card title isn't bumping up to into it. Okay. Call this card title and we're going to make this bold and we'll make this the biggest thing to see. All right. There we go. Give it some margin on the bottom. And now I can put like a paragraph of text. Maybe card title should be centered. Yeah, there we go. And what I can also do is add some padding inside of it so I can add a border bottom. Something with a probably choose that color. Yeah, there we go. Uh, maybe push it out, out a little bit more. Something like that. Yeah. Cool. And so we have this card and if I copy and paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it. There we go. And it seems like this is bumping up with this. So what I can do is go to my grid and drag this down and press done. And there we go. 
And all I have to do is just change the numbers, change the text, just go to town. All right? Oops. Five. What's after four? Five. <laughs> Six. All right? Now, what does it look like for, um, for responsive? So if I go here, all I have to do is go to my grid. And if I don't like three columns, I can just delete one column. And now, there we go. And I can even make the gap in the columns a little bit more bigger. And if I go here, I can set this to one column and also add some padding. There we go. And there we go. So this is good for like portfolio sites where you're like, um, here's my process. Step one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, uh, and it's fully responsive and yeah, there you go. So that's how you make cards with step numbers. Hope this helps. All right, that's it for this quick tutorial. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments below, or if you have a suggestion for a future tutorial, I'd like to hear about it. Leave that in the comments too, but that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.